Hello and welcome to Scott Bright's Fitness Systems. Thank you for clicking on the video. The video is all about the Charles Parlequin books I've bought and really enjoyed. I've got about 12 altogether and some of them, there's two books recommended by Charles which I bought which were really, really good as well. So he seems to uh, really know his stuff. Obviously he worked with over 800 athletes in 24 different sports. Now that's an achievement in itself, isn't it? So the first book is called Parlequin's Papers. They've brought that out this year and it's uh, a lot of his old stuff and new stuff all put together. But the great thing about it is, is that the stuff in that book is not in the other books. And don't you hate that, that some companies do that. They keep repeating the same stuff just to try and to make money out of people, which is a bit wrong in my opinion. So the next one, which he recommended on one of his videos, is called uh, Bodybuilding from Heavy Duty to Super Slow. Really good book. <coughs> one thing I learned about in this is that HIIT training is not new. HIIT training has been around since 1952. So this goes into the history and gives you some great training programs that you could use on yourself to try and get more size, more strength, more definition. Really, really good book. Really enjoyed that. The next one that they bought out, I think this is last year, is The Ultimate Guide, Guide to Arm Size and Strength by Charles Parlequin. Again, lots of imagery in there of bodybuilders and good information on program design and what really to do in which to gain gargantuan arms. So my arms were always just under 17 and a half. And by doing German volume training, and doing BCAAs and everything that Charles has recommended in a book that I'm going to show you in a minute, I gained some size and some muscle mass, uh, which I was really, really happy about. I have, I've had to work really hard to get it, considering I'm uh, 51 years old, soon to be 52. Don't listen to that nonsense about your testosterone drops when you reach 30. My testosterone has always been high. I'm a bald-headed man with lots of hair. So that's uh, one sign of high testosterone. And I got my testosterone checked by my private doctor. And he said, it's fine. You don't need to boost it. You don't need to move it up. You train all the time and, this is, and you've got a good diet and you sleep well. And this is uh, what's really enhancing you at age 51, soon to be 52, come on. So the next one is uh, Current Strength in Strength Training. Really, really good book again. Uh, all about rep sets, loads and tempos. And it even recommends other books that he wants you to read. So really good read, I enjoyed that. And I think that that was published, uh, when was that published? I think that's a, that's a really new book. Oh, 1997. Reference manual, come out in 1997. So it's quite old, isn't it? But really good information. I really enjoyed this book as well, Ultimate Squatting Guide. Uh, all about squatting your ass to the grass and why powerlifters and bodybuilders uh, squat much differently, which I thought that was interesting. I never knew that before. The next recommendation by uh, Charles in one of his videos was, uh, and by a... Uh, the Coach Living Legend in Southampton, my friend, he sent me this book as a gift. And uh, Charles puts his name on the back of the book, recommended by world-renowned strength coach Charles Parlequin. Uh, Interval Training by John Bryan. I'm Scott Bryan. He's not, he might be related to me. And Adam Beanshin. A uh, really, really good book. Because in America, now the cons can't train in the gym anymore or they don't have gyms in prison and this is to keep them weak so they can't fight the guards which is a bit off-handed isn't it you know especially if you're stressed and you're under huge amounts of anxiety being in prison you really need to you know gain some strength and sight or just train in which to keep your stress and anxiety down i know that when i'm having a bad day or something's not going right if i do a strength and conditioning session i feel Fucking great. The uh, next one, which uh, my uh, strength training, uh, who's he trained with? He trains frisbee players 
in London and his name is uh, Dave Preston and he's a Charles Parlequin guy, he's done lots of his courses, he's done lots of Peter Twist stuff and other stuff and we, we like to meet up every Thursday and have big debates. I've been trying to talk him into coming on a podcast so we can rip the piss out of each other, which we do when we meet up for dinner. But he's known me 22 years and uh, he gave me my first job at Fitness First where I stayed for two years and I was the most expensive trainer there and nice and busy. Right, next one, really good book. Me and Dave both agree this is a really good book. Applied Strength by Charles Parlequin again. Talking about sled pulling, farmer's walks. I love farmer's walks. And uh, other techniques in the book. Lots of uh, diagrams and stuff in the book. Highly recommend it. Really, really good book. My books are like gold dust to me. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm always going back to the book to either do a blog on it, a video blog, or a blog on the website, or... A client might ask me a question and I go, oh, I've got the book with that in and I'll go home, read the book and then tell the client the next day. So the next one is, this has got to be his best, best ever book. Uh, it's really hard to buy now, really hard to get. And it's the German Body Comp program, Burn Fat, Build Muscle, with the only program used for weight training and weight loss, Charles Parlequin. Highly, highly recommend this book. Right. Now, I've heard lots and lots of donkeys on TikTok and YouTube and everywhere else saying that BCAAs don't work. Well, there's 12 reasons in this book why they do work. And I'm one of the reasons, 18 in charms, I'm a natty, been natty all my life. Uh, so to get my arms to increase by half an inch just by taking the stuff that he'd recommended in the book. There's still stuff in the book that I haven't tried, uh, which I will try in the new year, because I want to get really buff for the new year. So at the moment, I'm off of grains, I'm off of sugar, I'm off of dairy. I like a bit of chocolate, so I've got to try and get the raw chocolate or the chocolate that does as a, a substitute for dairy in. But sometimes it can be hard going to Sainsbury's and stuff like that. But... I'm getting more buff than what I've ever been before. And then I'm going to get some pictures done. I've got pictures of me in my 20s when I was a bit of an Essex boy. And uh, I've got some uh, pictures later on when I was a dormant thug, when I went up to 15 and a half stone, nearly 16 stone. And now I want to do some pictures of me in my 50s, 51, 52, looking as ripped as I can, like... All the other gurus, like Charles himself, 57, Paul Cech, uh, 60, 62, soon to be. So I highly, highly recommend this book. I'm going to leave this book to one side and talk about the book a bit, a bit more. Now, this is a good book. He's talking about uh, why he hated uh, diets and why they don't really work and why he hates cardiovascular training. And I totally fucking agree. If you're doing cardiovascular training, you must be one of them, in my opinion. Uh, or you don't understand, you know, uh, training properly and how the nervous system works. And you should read another recommendation by Charles, which was called Exercise the, Exercise the Myth. And it's a cardiologist talking about how cardiovascular fitness doesn't really work and how it can cause heart, more heart problems than less heart problems, which I think was quite interesting. And the book is quite thought revoking and very hard to get hold of now but i was lucky i got one of them uh, so the next one is modern trends in strength training which is another book by charles uh, this book is is okay he's got rep sets those and uh, volumes in there but not so many pretty pictures so i think that must have been probably one of his first books he bought out. No, it's an old book, 2001. So that's 2001, but it's not as good as uh, the German comp program book, in my opinion. So the next one, a really, really good friend of mine got me this, and I treasure it. It's got lots of bodybuilders in it, old type bodybuilders like Arnold, Louis, uh, who else is in there? Frank Swear, Ben Fatto. Uh, and other top, top bodybuilders. 
th th they've redone it. There's a second edition, but I've got an original first edition, and I think it's about £140 on eBay. So I will never give that away. That will always stay in my collection until the day I pop it and go and meet Parlequin. So the next one is uh, Modern Trends in Strength Training, 4th edition. So I've got the 1st edition and the 4th edition now. I will get the other two eventually later on. So that's 12 uh, Parlequin books that I really, really love. And this has got to be one of the best the difference between Charles and Paul Check is that Paul Check's marketing seems to be a bit more better than Charles's, in my opinion. Uh, and I obviously I did there's my level four qualification with Paul, and then I had level four masters with Paul Paul Check. So I did that, and I learned about 150 assessments on how to assess the body. Uh, for pain, whether a client is ready to exercise. Then I did functional diagnostic nutrition, which is behind me. That took me just over a year to study and get that in my head. And uh, I learned about the gut, hydrochloric acid. And Charles talks about hydrochloric acid in the German comp program and why it's so important to make sure you feed it. No point doing all the training if your gut's shut down. You can't gain the muscle that you're trying to gain. The same as if you're going clubbing and popping pills like the Essex boys and trying to gain size, it's not going to happen. You know, if you look at uh, some of the Essex boys that are still alive, they don't look like they've ever been to the gym, in my opinion. Uh, but I've been doing this all my life. You know what I mean? I started training when I was nine and uh, obviously not in the gym, but doing press-ups and sit-ups and doing bag work and got bought a set of dumbbells and then bought my own bench when I was 20, then went into the gym big time and been training ever since. And obviously, I'm a book author as myself, so uh, um, I've got... I've done two books, actually. That was my first book. Uh, no, my first book was The Veal's Beauty Bible. I was the guest author that put all the information about health, diet, lifestyle in their book and then this is my my book. So I've had over 50 reviews, five star reviews online. Uh, if you go to Scott Bryant, put in Scott Bryant and you'll see my authorship with Google and then you could buy the book for six ninety nine from Google and if you decide to buy the book and you give me a review on Amazon and you get in touch via email, I'll design your program for free. And my programs are normally about £180 because I'll spend two to three hours doing an assessment, seeing what you can and can't do, and then designing your program according to what your body needs. And this is where, uh, you know, 90% of the gyms are going wrong, is that they'll get a guy in to design programs that doesn't have enough knowledge and this is what the Czech Institute and reading you know 12 books of Parlequins gives me is gives me knowledge you know I've read more books than that I've read 919 I've just ordered two books waiting for them to come in the post through Amazon uh, and I, I, I love to read and I love to learn but it's really important that uh, trainers out there learn program design so in the Czech Institute, they've got program, advanced program design and program design. Both good courses, both excellent information to understand. But the Charles Parlequin stuff just goes that much deeper, that much more sports performance. Whereas, Charles, uh, whereas Paul's is all corrective, holistic exercise. And in my opinion, there wasn't very many Czechies that I met in my time from 2003 to now that are, that are hench and all, all, you know, beefed up. A lot of them are very, you know, skinny, lean, but still cut, but not, you know, got gargantuan bench press, gargantuan deadlifts and all that type of stuff. Uh, so if you're looking to get really strong and really get some great size, then I would highly, highly recommend this book. 
because it gives you really, really good information in there. Then if you go to the Parlequin Performance Center, there's the Strength Sensei that you can join, and there's the Parlequin Performance Center. They keep putting posts up on a regular basis, so you can really get your knowledge up as a trainer, coach, or somebody that's just in, interested in getting big lats. Uh, <coughs> so as you can see, I'm a bit of a nutter. Uh, I, could, I should rename my YouTube channel Mad Scott because everyone's called me mad from the door days as well. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please comment down below. What I will do, I will put a link to every single book that I can find on Amazon in the profile down in the blurb down below and there'll be a link for you to buy my book and remember if you buy my book and you give me a review you get in touch then I'll give you 180 pounds worth of program that you can use anywhere in the world you know uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video today about Charles Parlequin and the uh, 12 well 13 books using talking about my book as well and how how I found these books really interesting. Talking about hit training, talking about volume training, talking about wave load training, talking about why some people have more strength than others, why you don't necessarily need to lift huge amounts of weight in which to get bigger. At the moment, for the last two years, I've been training at home with, uh, what have I got, 50 kilo, a kettlebell, uh, 35 kilo curling EZ bar, and uh, 35 kilo dumbbells, chin up, TRX, body blade, uh, chin up bar, medicine ball, uh, club bells, kettlebells, and what else have I got? Oh, and I got a fitter as well. So I've been using all this kit indoors and not even been in the gym. And I went back to the gym, uh, Pure Gym, which I've done a video about, which will come up in a minute, which was terrible. Uh, the gym was great, but it was dirty, it was smelly, no atmosphere. People just on their, what's all this about fucking phones? Why are people always on their phones in the gym when they should be working out? I've got my music on, which is played through the phone, but I don't fucking keep tapping on it. I'm just in there to work out and get a sweat going and, uh, pump myself up uh, so that was a bit of a bad experience but well, I'm fucking brain farting now uh, it was good to, to train and I did some deadlifting and went up to 180 and I've not done 180 for two years so it shows that the little that you do you can still maintain your strength and your size even if you're training at home and you haven't got the equipment that you used to use. Because I thought I was going to be really weak, but I wasn't. So it was a really good insight for me. And what Charles says in his 12 books that I've got there really gives a big insight. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, press that subscribe button, press that like button, press the bell icon. So then that way you get my regular uploads. I try and upload... Uh, short videos every day for a day and then a long video like this 18 minutes every couple of days depends on my schedule what i'm doing and stuff like that so i hope you've enjoyed the video please go to my tiktok please check out my website please go please subscribe to the channel and uh, you can go to all my social media below and send me an email if you want to ask a question thanks very much bye bye peace out 18 inches come on See you again. Bye.